are going to do some more watercolor painting because I love watercolors. Um, but we're going to use two different types of techniques. The first one's called resistance, and it is when you take crayons, or you can use oil pastels if you happen to have those, um, and you do a drawing and color it in. And what happens is... So when watercolor goes over it, it has a little bit of a resistant effect, so it creates this cool effect. The second um, uh, technique we're going to use is called wet on wet, and I have another video about that um, that you could definitely check out. And it's where you paint wet, when you paint the paper with water and then put watercolor on top. And as you can see, it creates some really just sort of beautiful washes. So we're going to talk about both of those techniques in this next um, tutorial, and I hope that you have fun. All right, before we get started on our watercolor sunset, I'm going to let you know um, a few materials that you will need. So you're going to need a watercolor set, a brush, preferably something that's a little bit wider. It just makes it easier when it gets to the uh, sunset part. Uh, water, a rag, and a variety of crayons. We're going to learn a resistance technique um, using the crayons, and we're going to use wet on wet technique. So there's a lot we're going to do. Now, before we start our sunset, you're going to get a pencil, and you're going to sketch out your landscape first. And when I say landscape, I just mean a picture of some land. So it really can be whatever you want. I'm going to do something kind of basic. I'm going to do a simple sunset where you see half the sun. And then maybe I'll add a few trees. And I'm going kind of quickly here. But you don't have to. You can take your time. Let's see, I'll do another one here. Now, you can have uh, some ideas perhaps, would be maybe a scene of like a house um, with, you know, kids playing in the backyard. You could do the beach or the ocean. I'll do some things here, maybe a few pieces of grass here. So mine's gonna be kind of basic. Um, you could do maybe up in the forest and add a lot more trees. So there's plenty of things you can do. Okay, now I'm going to color in my beautiful masterpiece. Here are some things I want to mention. Now, with this resistance technique, which is really quite fun, and let me get another piece of paper to show you real quick, which is really quite fun, a uh, crayon because they're made out of wax, they do not mix with water. So, since watercolors are water-based, it's a very cool effect to see what happens when you um, try to paint over crayon. So I'm just gonna get some of my watercolors a little bit wet and ready to go so I can just show you this. I won't do all of them because that'll take too long. Okay, so. Let's see here. What if I were to do a couple hearts with a design on them? And also something to note, if you use really light colors, putting a dark watercolor over them really makes them pop out. Let me show you what I mean. Or even just a light wash. That means that your watercolors are very liquidy. See, there we go. You can really tell with this one. If you were to use a darker color or a thicker, either thicker or darker on, um, so yes, on light, but if you were to change it and do the crayon is very dark, then the uh, watercolor, using that to be very light, will make the contrast. So just think of whatever contrasts. Anyway, here's the effect. So we're gonna apply that to our, um, our beautiful landscape. Now, I'm going to quickly um, fill it all in and then I will touch right back with you. Okay, so here's what I did. And I wanna give you a few tips. 
Um, I added some flowers because I thought it was looking a little bit boring. Um, I want to show you something. Um, as you probably have noticed, I outlined most everything. And I didn't really color anything in too much. And that was on purpose. Um, let me demonstrate to you what happens if you color something in all the way. See this flower right here? It's uh, colored in all the way. The other two I didn't do like that. So what happens if I color everything in and I paint over it? Now, as you can tell, there's nowhere for the watercolor to go, so you don't see it as well. Versus this one, you have a little bit more resistance because you see the watercolor in between here. So what I'm gonna do, well, let me just show you, we can kind of, I'm just gonna do this whole area green. And it's really fun. One reason I like this project is it's really fun to see how different crayons, different colored crayons, interact with the different colors of the watercolor. Just kind of experimenting with that, um, that uh, combination is really, really fun. I also want you to notice that for a lot of these, I created little designs. Oops. I kind of got enough. That's okay. I created little designs like on the trees. I, I, I did just a few patterns and lines without filling it in. Um, feel free to do something like that to make it look kind of interesting. Also, I never really hold myself to having to paint everything the color it should be. Like, I want a blue tree. So guess what? We're having a blue tree today. It's a blue tree kind of day. And maybe I'll add a purple tree over here. I like just kind of picking colors I think will look the make the picture look pretty versus, oh, it's got to be this certain color. Now, of course, you can have it be the same a color that you think it should be, too. This is, you're the artist, you get to decide. You might notice here that the green and the purple are about the same in light and darkness, so you don't see them quite as much versus over here, this purple and this green, they contrast a little bit more. And here contrasts really nice. So um, as you can tell, there's just so many different ways to do this. Okay, so we've got our landscape colored in. Ooh, that orange is very dull. Oh well. Now we get to do our sunset. Oh wait, no, we're not all the way done. Silly me. I wanna get these trunks in. Oh. So pretty. Almost there. Okay, now we get to do our sun. Well, I guess it would either, it would probably be more like a sunrise. Now I'm gonna teach you a technique called wet on wet. There's a video, um, there's already a video I made about it and you can check the site to get that video. And that one's just much more exploratory. This one has a little more purpose. So. Um, wet on wet basically means you start with painting just water on your paper. And you want it to be pretty wet because the wetter it is, the more sort of effect it will have. I am making the top of my paper really quite wet. It gets a little drier at the bottom as I go down, but that's okay. You can have the whole thing be super wet. It's fine. And you'll probably have to reapply as you go. So let's get this water going. Now, in order to, so my paper's not very thick, so it's curling up like that. If you have thicker watercolor paper, it won't curl up as much. Um, you can still do it as I'm going to, but it's just easier, you know, not to. Now I'm gonna use a traditional red and orange combination. And oh, I should move this aside. Notice how I'm using this plastic area for my palette. Ooh, I have got a messy desk here. Goodness gracious. Um, this is what I like to do so that I'm not combining colors together and messing up the colors. I like to use this area. Now, it's probably dried a little bit. I'm gonna apply it and see what happens. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's so, so nice. 
Now, you might have to use a little maneuvering depending on what you put on your thing. Ooh, pretty, I love this effect, it's so much fun. Okay, go over here, add a little bit orange. Yeah, this looks much more like the sunrise. Or I don't know, I can never tell what, what one looks like the other. Let's get some yellow in here. Now, as I go down, I'm gonna have it be very light at the bottom. And you don't have to do multiple colors. I'm just doing that for fun because it kind of makes it look like the sun is pushing the light away, which sort of is the whole beautiful effect of a sunrise. So even though it's very light at the bottom here, it still looks really nice. Okay. There is our wet on wet technique and our crayon resistant project with watercolors. This is super fun. I hope you make lots of them. I really, really want to see what you've come up with. Um, so please post something for me and I hope you've enjoyed this project. Well, this was really fun. I so enjoy playing with watercolors and coming up with different techniques, and I really hope you do too. Um, please post. I want to see what you've been up to and how you've been experimenting with watercolors.